Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. Do you guys want to look at some yarn? Of course we do. Of course we do. This is where the yarn junkies of the YouTube world come and converse and look at yarn. Because you know, in the end, that is, that's what our craft is about. And it's always fun to look at and look at new yarns. This is, is, this is what I have today. Now, this is actually yarn that I bought from um, a small business off of Etsy. It's called uh, Rena's Thread and Craft. Crafts. Now, I'll put a link to her Etsy shop below. This is the first time that I've um, ever bought from her. Now, I was looking. I had mentioned that I was going to do a... Uh, one of them super looking, you know, have you guys seen them shawls and blankets and whatnot that are made with like two weight gradient yarns and they're like super, super advanced looking, you know, kind of like the loss, not the loss, but kind of like the, the loss in time shawl and, you know, the ones that have like a whole bunch of stitches and whatnot. Well, I mentioned that I wanted to do one of those because, um, I guess I just want to do one. And, um, so I wanted to look for the perfect gradient uh cake to do to do that with um so i was looking on etsy and i found this person's shop like i said i never bought from them before i never seen the yarn but hey it looks pretty that's all i can hope for and if I, if when i look at it and i think that it'll be okay for you know the shawl that i want to do i want you guys to help me choose the color because i got several different colors because I do like to support small businesses when I can. All right. So um, it says here that you know, it's the gradient type of cakes. And like, you know, it's made with the little, the plies. And with those plies, the gradients, they hand tie each color. Like on their own. Like uh, if you was to buy like a, you know, those plied cakes, like places that sell them um where the colors changes they'll have tiny knots you know that's just how they are but uh yeah so it, i mean it looks pretty i guess there's a, let's open it up you're like shut up open it up all right let's do it so they are located in texas and it probably took about four days five days maybe to get here um sheesh shoot uh, yeah, I think so. She shipped, uh, within two days, and then, you know, the mail took the rest of the time. But I don't think that was very long, actually. It was just fine. So, I, I mean, I had no problem. I just ordered it, and I did message her and ask her if the cakes were, like, ready, or if I had to wait, like, two to four weeks for her to dye them. And she messaged me right back and said that they were that they were ready so i bought them and she shipped them what more could you want huh or they shipped them or i don't know i'm just saying she i don't know it's a picture of her so okay all right so it's wrapped and i'm gonna lift this up this box busted open which is probably because it's a walmart box i buy boxes at walmart and they always bust down the sides so i always <laughs> tape them around the sides because i've had people tell me like when i send them stuff that it busts so i learned that when i use a walmart box and i put something heavy in it that i gotta tape the sides this isn't her fault it's just it's a walmart box box and then i'm blaming it on the walmart box because it does it to me too that's why i always tape the sides <laughs> Anyways, so here's the comes like this, pretty hummingbird wrapping, or tissue paper, I guess. Ooh, these look pretty. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, thank you for your order. Your purchase made our day. Ooh, I got a 20% off coupon code for my next order. Excellent. I can't give it out. Sorry. I might, if it's nice yarn, I might buy from them again. Um, and the hummingbird there is, I guess that's what the, oh yeah, it's on their site too. Okay. That's why it's hummingbird paper. Nice. 
All right. And then this is my my order form. Thank you for choosing our shop. I am blown away to see your purchase. Oh my God. I am also one of your subscribers on your YouTube channel. Ah, if you have any color inspirations or specific ideas you'd like to see in our designs, please let us know. We value your support and we hope you continue to shop with us. Your fan, Arena. I hope I'm saying that right, Arena, if you're watching. R E N A. Rena, Renee, Rena. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's nice. So thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Yeah. These look really nice if I like them. I could use like a nice brown gradient. Mm, my favorite. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Yeah, I had one called Crystal. I, I had to get it because it was my name, you know, spelled the same and whatnot. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let me bring it up here because they don't there's no prices on the invoice. So okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and start off? I don't know where to start. They all look so dang pretty. And you know what? I might have to make like a blanket or something out of one. One of those fancy blankets too. I probably have to get another one for that, but it's okay. Okay, let's start off with oh my. Well, We'll start off with the rainbow. I think I got three different rainbows. <laughs> Who doesn't love the rainbow? I know that I love it. Um, it's so pretty. Let me make sure. I'm sorry. I should have got the prices down first. Because. Oh, I'll just go to my invoice page. Just a second. All right. I just brought it up in it on my uh, Etsy page. All right. So it's nicely packaged. Um, comes in some nice, uh, heavy plastic. And then, so you can put it right back in the bag. That's a nicer, <laughs> that's a nicer bag here. Okay. And then, um, oh, it comes with a little, oh, cool. It comes with a little tag, um, that you can hook on your project. Um, in case, you know, in case you're working on multiple projects at once, it's where you can write down the pattern it is, and the link to where you got your pattern, the hook size you're using, the date you started. That's cool. And then it gives the color of it there. So you, you know, hook, you know, if you want to do more than one project, and of course I probably will have to, because working with yarn this thin is super hardcore. All right, so why don't we check this out over? My golly, that is pretty. All right, here's her label. Arena's Th Thread and Crafts. Nice, nice. Now, this one is called Gothic Rainbow Gradient. Um, it's an eight-ply cotton yarn, fingering weight size one. Um, approximately 1,400 yards, um, hand wash, hang to dry, or machine dry on delicate cycle only. All right. So, mm -hmm. now I'll tell you why this one was called Gothic Rainbow. Um, it's because she had three different rainbows, and of course I had to get them all. This one was uh, made with a black thread running through it all you see that and you know it's just it's it's rainbow but it's the whole thing has a black thread running through it so it was the gothic rainbow it's it's soft mm -hmm. this smells clean i'm gonna take a quick peek at their <laughs> their one weight eight plow one weight we got an easy center pull here. Let me look here. Oh, we do. We do. I, it's right here knotted at the top. I'm sitting here trying to dig in the bag. Of course I am. Of course I am. 
All right, so this is what it looks like here. Um, you know, I myself, let me see, would probably consider that a nice two weight. If you, you know, if you ask me, but I hold it up on my hand because everybody sees things differently. I wouldn't consider that really a one, um, but everybody considers things differently. You know, we could do the wraps per inch and see if we want to. I could bust out a ruler. But yeah, I don't, I think that, it, although I don't like working with the orange just then, I want to because I want, I want to make one of those pretty shawls. And what a beautiful gradient this is. So I guess I'm assuming it has eight plies of yarn. It does. So there's eight plies there. And it appears to be pretty, uh, what do I say, uh, um, you know, they're the ones that are kind of not, you know, spun together. But if you look, it's not bad. It's not like falling apart. It's hanging on together, all eight plies. That one's pretty. That's soft. All right. Yeah, I'll probably use one of these for my shawl and probably other things. And then some of them I got for my million subscriber giveaway coming up. Oh, hopefully within, today is 2 2024 oh, Today is my middle son's birthday. The other day was my oldest. He turned 15 today. Crikey's, I am old. Well, my oldest son turned 19. And my oldest daughter is 21. How time flies, huh? It's really quite sad. But I'm not going to dampen the mood. Because I'll just start crying over my children getting... So big. That's pretty, isn't it? That's beautiful, beautiful. So, I like that. And like I said, I think this, I like it. I think this will probably be what I choose. Because even though it's, you know, it's labeled as a one way, everybody sees things differently. And to me, I think I would more consider that a sport, sport weight, two weight. So, it's doable. It'll be doable for me on a slow scale because, like I said, I do have arthritis here in uh, four fingers. It's a little harder for me to work with that. But that's that's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to move on. So that was Gothic Rainbow. Oh, I'm sorry. And this was the Gothic Rainbow oh, was um, $25 for this cake. And I don't think that is a bad price. I actually think that's an excellent price for... Uh, 1400 yards that's that's enough for me to make a nice size shawl yes definitely out of out of this me considering that to be a two weight you're supporting a small small business here in the united states definitely Ooh. That's, all right i have to move on or you're gonna i'm gonna gross everybody out and no one's gonna want to watch me anymore okay Oh, I'm going to keep these bags, too. The bags and the tags. Because, like I said, some of these I bought for my million sub giveaways. I'm going to make sure I keep everything. So, here it is. Next one. Packaged very, very nicely. Not, I, not, not all, everything she sells was, not all the gradients were cotton. I've seen some polyester. I don't know if I got any of those or not, but... Yep, there's the tag again. I think that is so cool. I that that's so interesting. What a nice little touch to add, you know. That's that's amazing. Okay, this one's beautiful as well. Remember, I'm gonna need help choosing a color. This one's called. Uh, my gosh, I bought too much. I bought too much. Okay, I want to get the right color here. Um, this one is... Okay, hold on. This one's called Pink Dahlia. Of course, I had to get the Pink Dahlia. Because I love flowers more than I... Plants and flowers more than I love yarn, if you can believe that. I do. I'm quite the gardener myself. Um, now, this is the same um, as far as... It, that it's labeled as a fingering weight... Um, cotton. That's pretty. 
Mm -hmm. Um, and it's 1,400 yards approximately, the eight-ply cotton. Nice. Let's check it out here. I still think that's that's good. You guys tell me what weight you think that is, but I just don't. I think that's a nice, nice two-way, if you ask me. Maybe I'm just trying to be optimistic because I know I'm going to make a shell out of them, and I'm just hope you know, not really wanting to use a one-way, <laughs> you know. I'm hyping myself up, man. I'm like, yeah, that's not a one way. Don't worry about it, Bob. That's a thick two, man. That's a thick two. It's, that's that day near three. It's not. It's not. But I do would consider that probably a sport way. That's nice. I like that. Very nice. So it's the same. Smelling clean. Looking pretty. Um, I love the colors on that one. White to light pink. And then it goes out to... Kind of a salmon color i guess and then out to this red here or not red i don't know what you call it whatever you would call that clay i don't know what you call that pink dark rose bright pink whatever very pretty um and this one was 25 dollars. man what a deal that that's a good deal for those it really is if, especially if you look them up at uh stores that have those cakes and that's a really good deal there on that all right i'll move on to the next one keep this bag over here Ooh. 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 it's gonna be a hard choice Put that tag in there again keep that bag i'm gonna bag them all back up so i don't um this one is called artichoke Ooh, that's, that's pretty. Hmm. That's beautiful. Oh, it's got some light there to start. So we got, uh, you're starting with the light. Oh, you could start either way, I guess. But I would start with the light there. And then it would gradually go, slowly gradiate to the green. And then we got a little either extremely dark purple maybe or black i can't tell no i think it's black because there's black mixed up i don't know what it is out to this beautiful beautiful purple here that's a pretty one and again this one is the same the eight ply cotton mm -hmm. now 1400 yards uh they had an option that you could get them smaller as well for a lesser amount of money this was 26 dollars Mm. pretty pretty let me click on it and see what the other some of them had an other option okay this one had a 700 i guess they're all different but this one had a 750 yard ball for 16 dollars and then it had the 1400 which is what i got um for 26 dollars so yeah so i guess i got one half half the Half the yardage. I don't know if that's like that on all of them, but I know it, a lot of them had that option of uh, of choosing, you know, choosing. But yeah, artichoke. Gosh, just try to picture that in a shawl. You know, I could get another color. Like I said, I could probably grab up two of those and make one of the fancy blankets that people make. I could do it. I want to do it though because it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of work like a lot of uh two weightness in my hands all right let's move on oh my gosh they just they're so pretty <laughs> each one i pull out is gorgeous i was really surprised to see she's she's right to my channel that's that's awesome okay there's that tag i'm gonna keep keep the tag in the bag oh that's a pretty one fall in love with gradient i love that play on words because that is a very fall looking isn't that a gorgeous cake you know i had some that i was thought were my favorites and to tell you the truth they've all kind of been my favorites so far <laughs> i'm liking i'm liking all of them that i've picked out here um this was 26 dollars wait that ain't the right one sorry i got one similar to that um fall is 
is it this one? Where is it? There it is. Fall in Love Gradient. Um, yeah, twenty six dollars for this one too. It's all the same eight ply, or this one's the same eight ply. Uh, Melon Clean. I love these. Fourteen hundred yards. Mmm, that's gorgeous. Of a two way, right? It's not fingering. It's a two. Yeah. Come on, amuse me in the comments. Tell me. Tell me. Faculty, that's almost a three. Come on, boost me up. Tell me that. <laughs> Just, even though it's not true, amuse me, amuse me. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. That's an extremely beautiful cake. Very fall. Very fall. Ah, very good deals on these. I, for what it is, it's an excellent, excellent deal. Um, so, yes, I'm definitely going to use uh, one of these for my... Uh, advanced shawl pattern and probably other shawl patterns <laughs> and maybe a blanket who knows but uh um i like it like i said i wasn't sure if i was going to use it because you know you don't know how they're going to feel but yeah these are nice this one i threw in at the last minute because uh, for some reason i thought i just couldn't live without it you know how that goes i'm like i can't live without that now this one was 28 dollars. okay so this one has polyester in it look at that oh you know I couldn't live without that. I love black. And look at that orange in it. Ooh. Okay. This is called... Um, no, this one doesn't have polyester in it. Dang it. I'm picking the wrong ones. This one does not. This is cotton again. This is called Rare Amber Inspired. That is so pretty. So again, this is the 8-ply... Um, same thing. 1,400 yards, $26. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's going to make one beautiful whatever it makes. Excellent job. That stuff is soft. I love this stuff. I could become addicted to the shop. I have an addictive personality. If you guys don't already know that. I'm certain you probably do. Here's the one that I threw in at the last minute that I, for some reason, thought I just couldn't live another. I couldn't live without it. Now this one has polyester in it, tagging it, and this one is called Tiger Gradient. That's nice. Um, let me see. It's a six ply polyester. Sport weight number two. Oh, uh, okay, approximately 875 yards. So this was a little more money. This was 28. Um, maybe because it's polyester, I'm not certain. Does have less yardage, but 875 is enough for me to um, you can make a shawl out of that. And they're saying this is a six ply sport, huh? Well, let's check out this six ply sport. I don't know about you, but that's looking like it's, yeah, that's a sport. It's kind of looking the same as the others. That's nice. That's pretty. That is, I love black too. I hate that I can't use it in my videos. Remember, you see, it's not spun. The plies are not spun, but they're not like some of them you get are like all over the place hanging out. These are very well put together so far. Now this polyester actually has a bit of a shine to it more so than the cotton if you could see that that's a gorgeous cake of yarn i like the way that it starts in black and then it ends in black that's gorgeous tiger inspired that is very very nice and it feels very good yeah so what i think i like about this is it's very soft it smells clean they're all very soft um I think I like the, the, I like all of them, of course. I like the little, just a hint of shine that the polyester has, um, versus the cotton is more of a, of a, you know, um, what do you call it? You know, mute, not mute, just, uh, when there's no shine to it. What do you call it? Like matte, matte finished or something versus a little bit of a shine from it's not like like extremely super shiny or anything but you can tell that it's a different 
um, fiber. Don't get me wrong. They're all gorgeous. I love each and every one of them. This one is a no exception. And neither are the other ones. Hmm. Hmm. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, let me set this up. Alright. Um, okay, I got another rainbow one here. I'm going to try to speed up my, my video. Okay. This is another rainbow. And it is called... Uh, swirl rainbow gradient so instead of the black thread running through it this one has a white thread oh so this is actually the same um, it is the uh, uh, for, uh, 1400 yards of the uh, they call it the fingering I still am calling it a two just because I want to boost myself up get that shawl started Thinking it's a one is going to make you want put to put it off. But, uh, yeah. Um, $25 for this one. Nice. So, this was the uh, Swirl Rainbow. And this was the Gothic Rainbow. They're both very pretty. Which one is your favorite out of these two? Oh my. That would be hard to choose. They're both very pretty. This seems more like, uh, yeah, this one seems a little bit more gothic. I think that's a perfect name for that, like, because it's a little darker, you know? And this seems a little bit more pastel -y looking. I don't know. Although, I don't, it's not pastel -y. It just has that white running through it, making it look pastel -y. And this one has the black. Doesn't matter. They're both gorgeous. Gorgeous! On an equal level, if you ask me. Ooh. Ooh. I say this about every one, but I don't know. How would I ever choose? That's why I'm not going to. You guys are going to help me choose. Okay. Aren't you? You're going to help me choose. This is called Wildfire. And it's the 1400-yard uh, 8-ply cotton. Yeah. Oh, it's got the brown and that beautiful orange in there. So we got that light orange and then it goes off to a dark or a brighter orange. And then right here, the orange starts to mix with the brown. So it kind of changes a little bit colors and then it goes out. So with these gradients, they just slowly change like one strand at a time. will mix with another strand. I think that's how they do it. One or two strands at a time will mix with another strand from the previous color and it'll go a little while and then it'll change i'm not certain if that's how they do it because like i said i don't use these often but i'm pretty certain it's something like that gorgeous wildfire that brown's about to that brown's getting me so is the orange though i like orange as well beautiful beautiful well you could tell i like orange because here's another one there's another one that's pretty similar to that one. Um, wildfire, yeah. And this one is called Choco Orange. And it's the same, uh, the 1400 yards cotton. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> What do you guys think? So, let me hold these two up. So, you can see that they're different as the oranges and the brown is different on them. Let me turn that around. We can see that brighter. Or that. So, this is more of like a chocolate brown. Like, like candy. Like a Hershey bar brown kind of. Chocolate bar. Um, I don't know. That's more of a... Just, just a brown. I don't know what you, what you call it. But I would consider that to look like candy bar. And you can see the orange is brighter in this one. And this one actually starts with a yellow center. As far as this one starts with a really light orange center. And this goes out with to an orange that's not quite as bright. Um, and then it mixes with the brown. Actually, there's a lighter brown up in there. You see that? That's, then it goes off to that darker. Um, hmm. Yeah, those are both really pretty, yet they are different. 
I thought they would be a little bit more similar to that, but no, they're, they're very different. That chocolate brown is gorgeous. Oh, th this brown's gorgeous too, though. I, you know, brown's my favorite color. I love any color of brown. But if it looks like chocolate, man, I'm really liking that. No, that brown's pretty too. I just don't know how to explain that brown. It's hard to explain a brown. Like, <laughs> I don't know. They're both pretty. All right, I love that. Choco orange. That's about this one. I don't know between those two which one I would pick, honestly. I, I like I like the brown in this one. I like the brown in both of them, but if I had to choose, I think I'd like the brown in this one better. I think I would choose. I might. They're both so pretty. It'd be hard. I'd probably choose this one, but man, it would be a tie with this one. I like how this one starts with the yellow. I couldn't choose. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, this one's pretty too. I've said that about every single one of these. Man, I am glad I found this shop. You know, I searched and I searched the internet forever because I knew I wanted to make one of those fancy shawls and I knew that I had to have a perfect gradient. And then um, there were so many, you know, so many shops, so many places that you could get gradients from some hand dyed some not but then um you know i settled on her shop i just thought that hers looked really pretty and was hoping that they would meet my expectations and yes they do this is so... i imagine the drape on this is going to be beautiful this is stained glass i collect stained glass i know bag day what don't you collect Um, I'm not, um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. No, I do have a lot of stained glass. I love it. That is absolutely beautiful. I love how it goes. I love, I love it. I love it. So it's got black running all the way through it. It starts with the white and black, and then it ends in the white and the black. And I actually absolutely love the white and black mix at the end. And all the colors throughout it. If we can, let me see if I can dig them out. Yeah, we got like, oh man, an orange mix, and then it goes off to a many, many different. There's difference, you know. This is that's beautiful. That's that's a beautiful one. Mm. I can't even imagine that works out. What that would look like, um, mighty fine and pretty. And soft. Oh, this is $26 as well. Most of her uh, 1,400-yard um, eight-ply like these that I'm showing you are 26. So I think there were a couple exceptions, maybe. No? Maybe. Um, oh, the rainbows were 25, but other than that, I think they were pretty much the same. Now, that polyester tiger one, it was a bit more money. For a bit less yardage, but you know, probably the, the price just of the polyester. Does this have a hook size recommendation recommendation on this? You know what? I would do. I don't even read recommendations anyway, so I don't even know why I care. But when I make the shawl, I'm going to use one of these. I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I am going to use. You guys are going to be like, "Don't do it, back with that. You're crazy." I'm not. I'm not. I will probably use a uh, five mil. Maybe, just maybe, maybe I might use a 4.25, but more than likely, if depending on a, now, more than likely, I'll probably use a five. It gives it way more drape if you use a little bit bigger of a hook. But it needs to be a G or an H for the show. I mean, that is so pretty. They're all so pretty. They're all so pretty. I could not choose. There's another one. Sorry, my video was so long. But hey, some people like them. Um, I had to get this one because I always mention, well, I, I've mentioned it quite a few times in my videos. I'm um, going to keep that. Then I'm surrounded by cornfields. So I had to get the corn-filled inspired one. Oh. And yes, I would say that this looks like the fields around me 
um, during late summer before they harvest. It's very pretty. They're green, tasseling out, the corn's dropping, and the silkies are brown on them. That's very, very pretty. Yes, I like that one. So, in the middle, it starts out with solid white there. Oh, I got two strands. Sorry. I'm like, oh my gosh, this was thick. I'm using this one. <laughs> it is. Uh, um, white. And then it slowly fades away. It mixes with some brown. And then it slowly fades away. It mixes with some yellow and brown. You know. And it slowly fades away. And the yellow kind of mixes with the a little bit of yellow, brown, and green. That's how the gradients work. And then, then it goes off to yellow and green. And then it just ends up in that beautiful, beautiful avocado green. My favorite color of green that there is. That's a beautiful, beautiful cake of yarn. And this is the cornfield inspired. $26. That is so nice. And I think 1,400 yards. You guys, What do you guys think? I think that will make a nice size shawl. In this in a two way. Gosh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's... I know. I've said that about every one of them. I can never choose. How, how would I have to choose? Alright. I got another rainbow here. Now this was just the solid rainbow. It had no uh uh white or black thread running through it. It's just called rainbow gradient. I don't want to lose those bags, so um, and this is uh, 1,400 yards here, it says. Now on the, on, on the uh, site, or on my receipt, or whatever, it says uh, 1,300 yards, but on the tag it says 14, so whatever. Um, e either one of those will make a beautiful, that's just enough amount. And it's the 8-ply cotton as well. Now this one was $26, so um, yeah, the same as the others. That's the regular rainbow, so it doesn't have any, um, you know, any white running through it or any black running through it. So, again, I'll ask one more time. Can you taste the rainbow? If you can, which is your favorite? Do you like the regular rainbow on the end? you like the uh, one with the white thread? What's it called? swirl rainbow or you like the gothic rainbow my gosh are they all ever beautiful but i'm going with the gothic for me for my favorite now, i love them all but if i had to choose um um yeah i'm going with the gothic you guys tell me your fave and the, they're all really pretty that has red in it but it's see it in there all right that's all that's the three rainbows there i got i gotta get oh my gosh this one has sparkle <gasps> i'm gonna wait on that one i thought this one was really pretty too i know i said that with every single one i'm sorry i don't mean to be taking up your whole day either but it was just like I can't I can't pick which color. This one's called uh, Shareberries, and this is the uh, 1,400 yards uh, eight ply cotton, twenty six dollars. Oof, mm, that's pretty. Oof, oof, oof. So we got a white starting point, and then we slowly fade away. To some uh, really pretty purples and then a blue. Hmm. That's a beautiful one. That is beautiful. Cheerberry. I don't know why I read that wrong. Oh, it's missing an E on the invoice over here. Here, okay, cheerberry. That's nice. I like that. So soft. You're probably like, come on, Mag O'Day. Mag O'Day is definitely hitting this place up again. All right, this is uh, another 
orange one. For some reason, I was like super attracted to the orange ones. But then again, I mean, I love all of them. But this one is called Fireside. The same, $26, 1,400 yards. Look at that. So this one ends in black and not brown versus the other ones here. Oh, and it's got red in it. Look, you see the red up in it? Oh, I like that. So we start at or or yellow, and then we slowly gradiates out to orange, and then the orange slowly mixes with the red and, and yellow, and then slowly mixes with just red and orange. And then slowly mix it out here, you know, with the orange, red, and black. And then it mixes slowly with the red and black. And then we end up with black. Yes, very appropriate name for that. I love that. That's, that's beautiful. That is pretty. Love Bloom is the color of this one. Man, I just don't know. Love Bloom. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to turn my brightness down just a bit because that's showing up a little brighter than what it is. There we go. That's more like it. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's it. That's it. So we got like a, let me think here. Sorry. We got like a, um. It's kind of a pink in the middle and then it fades off slowly to an orange out to a uh, darky peach salmon color that is pretty i don't know why my phone's being weird stop it phone just do what you're supposed to do okay yeah that's nice that's nice all the other colors look the same i think they were all showing up pretty well i think close to close to what they were here Here's my chocolate, chocolate looking cake. Ooh, these are so pretty. So yes, very beautiful on that one. Like I said, it's not really orange. It's uh, it has a little bit of orange in here, but it's it's a pink, dark pink inside, and then it goes to a little bit, uh, not like bright orange, but a little bit of orange colored, copper color maybe, off to a salmon. I like that. That one's pretty beautiful. Love Bloom is what that one is called. Love it, love it. All right, I only got, I only got a few more. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Radiant, Radiant Bend is the color name of this one. Yeah. Mm. To me, that looks like maybe. That could possibly be, I don't know. I, I don't think I could choose. But it's got like the, it starts out with like a very, very, I don't know. It's kind of a rosy brown. And then it goes off to like a Victorian rose color. You know I love those colors. And then it goes off to like a darker burgundy into greens. And then in the blues, that one is stunning. Same price as the others. Um, my gosh. My gosh. Um, yeah, $26. It's so soft. I don't think I could pick a favorite today. I don't. I don't know. That stained glass one's kind of staring at me, saying, I know, you know that I am your favorite. But then I look at the other ones, and they're, they're saying the same. They're saying the same. And this one's telling me, too. Okay. Um, this one is called Sweet Temptation. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very pretty. So we start out with a solid purple and a dark solid purple. 
I, you know, I don't. I always say I don't always gravitate towards purple, but I love it when it's so dark it's almost black. Yeah, that's so pretty. And then you can see that it slowly fades there. And a couple different colors, a few different colors of pink mixed with some white. And out to some light blues. And then the uh, middle color there, it stays with it throughout the whole thing. It's even there on the outside mixed with that dark blue. That's navy too. Oh, it's pretty. You know I love navy out of all the blues in the whole world. And it's mixed with that dark purple. I think that's the, the color that's not mixed with it the whole time. That's gonna be pretty. I'm I know I don't I don't know. Alright. Okay. These are these are polyester cakes. Now I had to get these because of the name. Uh Crystal's Gradient was the name on it. Yep. I saw that and I'm like, well I guess that's meant for me. I mean, it is my name after all. It's my gradient. So, this was the polyester. I did get two of these because, oh my gosh, because like I said, they were um, a little less yardage. But one would have been enough. I don't, I don't know why I got two. Maybe I was planning on giving one away in my for my giveaway. Or my million subscriber giveaway. But anyways, um... These are the polyesters. Um, oh, it's an eight ply polyester. DK DK weight. It's me. It's it's crystals gradient. Of course, it, of course, it's a DK. If it was an Aaron, it'd really be crystals gradient. Oh, this has okay. I know why I got two. This has less yardage than the other. These have five fifty each. So, crystals gradient is an eight ply polyester DK. Um, a 550 yards. It says machine machine wash on delicate. Hang to dry, or hand wash. Okay. So well, crystals gradient, huh? It's it's my gradient. I had to get it. It's like. This was $20. All right, so these were $20 and they are polyester. Eight ply DK um, polyester weight yarn. So they are the same that you can see they're spun in the opposite direction there. That's that's why I got two, okay? Because I see now they were less. Oh, crystal, it's gradient. Nice. That's a nice DK. I like that. A ply. Let me twist it a bit because when you twist it, I guess it does get a little bit. Like if I was crocheting with it, you know, the, the plies would twist a bit. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I like the uh the colors in it too. I do. And you know, if I did make a shawl out of this one sometime, probably keep these because it's up. I like the shine of that. It's so subtle, the shine, but you can see the shine on that, right? Versus the cotton being more of a, I mean, they're both beautiful. I said that, but this one, this has a, a hint of a shine. The polyester does. I'll probably keep these um, because they're crystals gradient and they're DK weight. And I would consider that a nice DK. Crystal... Crystal's gradient here, this crystal can use it nicely. And I don't want to have a problem with it. And you know, if I think if I make a shawl with this, um, generally I don't buy them spun backwards because I like break, I like to break, I'll break color. Um, but I think with this one, I won't break color. So I think what I'll do is start pink. Um, no, no, no. I'll start blue. I don't know, no, no. Yeah, I'll start blue on this one. And then it ends in pink. And then I'll start pink right there. And then it will end in blue. Now, the reason why I'm not going to break color on this one is because um, I think that... That is so nice. Man, excellent, excellent 
worked the shop. <laughs> I have to go back. Uh, anyways, the reason why I don't think I have a break collar on these is because making if I made a show, but I, by the time I ended my uh, pink here, I don't. It, you know, it'll be thinner because the shawl will be bigger. I don't think there'll be too much of a thickness spot there. So yeah, I think. Crystal's gradient. It's my gradient. I gotta keep it. I got to. All right. So that's all I got. But I did get something in here. It says free cake. That was very, very nice of you. You did not have to do that. And you know what it is? It's sparkly and it's Christmas. Now, Bag of Day loves sparkly yarn. And man, oh man, do I love Christmas yarn a lot. So I didn't, I didn't pay for this. That, she didn't have to do that. That was very nice of her to do that. It's called Christmas Color Gradient Free Cake. Oh, it's a nine ply cotton with sparkle thread. Okay, so it's like the eight ply, but then they throw in that thread to make it, or that sparkle to make it the nine. 1400 yards all right well that is i'm gonna have to save this and wouldn't that that's gonna make a pretty christmas shawl isn't it oh, that is so pretty thank you very much you didn't ha have to do that that's cotton that's so nice and look at that beautiful sparkle bling and bling and i think that's gold sparkle if i can see correctly it's gold but now, I know I got good eyes, but sometimes the lighting in here messes with me. I can't tell. But whatever it is, it's pretty and it's sparkly. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. That's it. That's all. So, I want to say um, a thank you to the shop owner for sending me this beautiful Christmas cake. Because but it does love Christmas yarn. Oh, I really love Christmas yarn. And I like the bling, man. I'm always, I love the blinging yarn. That's gorgeous. Um, I think your, your cakes are magnificent. Um, they are all very, very soft. The colors are all very pretty. There is no way I don't think I could ever pick one, just one. This, though, is some reason it's just the stained glass. It's saying, bag of d day, buy another one of me and make me one of those intricate square blankets. That's what it's telling me right now. But which one do I use for my first shawl? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I could never choose. Well, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Or I'll just put them on the box and close my eyes and pick one. Yeah. I really like this one. I don't know. I like them all. One, I mean, it's just like they're all so equally beautiful. It's extremely hard to pick a favorite. Um, I usually try to pick a favorite in my yarn unboxings you know I, I try to do that but every once in a while i come across yarns that there is no way no matter how hard i tried that i could pick a favorite um and this might oh don't we can't forget the rainbows you know I did pick a favorite rainbow, although I do love them all. That gothic one there on the end with the black thread. It's calling my name, too. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Great balls of great cakes of yarn. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Great cakes of yarn. That tiger one is pretty. All right. I'm going to go. You guys let me know. I, there's so many. They're just... And they're so soft and they're so pretty. So... I would highly recommend this shop. I mean, she answered my question properly. She shipped properly. The yarn is absolutely outstandingly gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to give you accurate information. Okay, I thought I read somewhere where they 
tie the knots and knots themselves, but I ain't seen that anymore. Um, so you, okay. I, I'm pretty certain it's hand dye, but I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm not sure uh, to tell you uh, the truth. I know that it is. Uh, it says handmade. Um. The yarn is thread, you know, it consists of threads. It's not spun, of course. Um, the vibrant gradients are created by the different strands of colors tied together using tiny knots that do not need extra work to be used in the project. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where, how it's made or anything. But all I know is, um, they're beautiful um, no matter how they're made um, they're they're all very beautiful they're all very very soft really this one is I don't know why this one's just calling me for some reason it's calling me they're all calling me <laughs> no uh, they're all beautiful like I said I'm not sure how they're made but uh I guess if you're interested you could ask her but um, they're soft. I think I don't think twenty six dollars is a bad price considering what it is. It's mighty beautiful gradients. I don't think I've ever seen a gradient. Well, you know, everybody sees stuff different. In my eye, that's a beautiful gradient. They're all beautiful. Um, and I like the polyester ones too. They're they're really soft, and I mean they get that. They're all really soft, but it's got the little shine to it. I don't know something about that. It's really cute. Very nice. So anyway, so I don't, I don't know. I thought, like I said, I thought I remember they tied the knots, but that, I could have read that somewhere else. I'm not seeing that now. So it is scissor handmade, um, cotton gradient cakes. Um, there's a bunch of different colors and, and, and stuff like that. And then they have the little polyester ones and, and they have some other stuff on their shop too as well. But, um, I think that, that it's a, an amazing price. You get a lot of yardage, 1,400 yards there. And I still consider it a two-way, those, those ones they say are fingering. I, myself, I'm calling it a two. I made the call. It's a two, man. It is a two. I've already made it. I ain't, I ain't changing my mind. No. It's, it's, it's beautiful yarn. Um, and I would definitely uh, rebuy it. Definitely. I called it two way, two way. What do you guys call it? Call it what you will. I call it a two, only because it makes me sleep better at night. <laughs> Gosh, what amazing shop! I wish I knew if these were like, like if she actually hand dyed these and put them together or not. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're beautiful. And I love them. And I would highly recommend them. Because, like I said, she answered me quickly. Um, she shipped it quickly. They're all beautiful. And I, all think, I think they're very worth $25. Of course, 1,400 yards. You can make a huge shawl with that. And if I got another one of these, which I probably will, I can make a really cool blanket. One of those real light, delicate, del delicate blankets. I don't know. Maybe you can you make them 1,400 yards? I never made one of those before. I don't know. But I'm super excited, and yeah, I would recommend checking her out. And thank you again, uh, Rena. I hope I'm saying your name right um, for this Christmas cake. And I think it's cool that that you said <laughs> you watch my channel. You're one of my subscribers. I appreciate that. You're gonna see a tutorial made out of some of this stuff. Your yarn, and I'm excited to get started on it. We hope you continue to shop with us. Well, by golly, I'm going to. As soon as I'm done with this video, I definitely grab another one of these. I have to. I, have some, I got some thinking about what I'm going to do with it. And it requires two. Anyways, bye guys. I'll see you on my next video, okay? It's so pretty. And the crystal, crystal's gradient, man. It's mine, man. It's mine. Look for some of these on my million subscriber giveaway. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Bye again for the hundredth time.